do you get a lot of like DMs um, from guys asking how to get into the adult industry? Because I know that I do. So I'm Every wondering day. how a male performer does. Every day. Every day. And I mean, do you even answer them anymore at this point? No. I, I will if somebody reaches out to me on a paid platform. Because mm-hmm. my time is money and my time is very valuable. Absolutely. So I, I don't have too much of it to spare. So answering questions like that on free platforms is not really something I've, I've ever done. Mm-hmm. Occasionally I might just on a whim because okay. I'm feeling nice or something. Yeah. Be like, oh, yeah, it's reach out to the agents. But the information... I have a hard time answering questions that are easily Googled. Mm. Like it's not, there is multiple ways into the industry for men and women, Mm -hmm. but the easiest one is to send pictures to an agent. Yeah. And if they like what they see, they'll ask you to come in for a meeting Mm -hmm. and then they'll set up a a trial shoot or something to see if you can actually do the job. And if you can't, they're not going to, you're not going to get any work. Yeah. So being able to, One, have the courage to approach an agent. I had an easier way in because I already knew the agent Mm -hmm. because of my girlfriend at the time. Right. Now, that is one way in. The OnlyFans method has now come around. But a lot of those guys are finding out that performing for a company, say, Digital Playground or Twisties or somebody like that, is not the same as shooting OnlyFans content. Correct. It's like comparing high school baseball to the MLB. Yeah. There's... I've been on sets for penthouse or bigger companies where there's 50 people on set. Yep. And you got to get your dick hard. Yep. In front of 50 random people. Yep. And fuck some chick right in front of you. And it's like, okay, well, this is a little overwhelming, but. You know what? So I did a show for Playboy TV called Adult Film School where we took amateur couples and shot professional sex tapes of them. So these were I guys. that's been done a couple of times. So every single guy was somebody who had never done a professional shoot. Um, so it's like my worst nightmare encapsulated in a TV show. Um, but I had a lot of fun doing it. Very grateful for the experience. Just want to make that clear. <laughs> but I found that with the guys, a lot of times what got them, of course, the crew was intimidating. The lights was the silence, mm-hmm. because I think a lot of them, you know, they like have sex with their girlfriend at home and like there's music, the music on, on or, or something. TV they're at a party or... and they're like, oh, you that know, was, there's a vibe. That was really new. That was really hard for me to get past. Yeah. Because I was one of those people. There was always a movie playing when I was having sex. Mm-hmm. There was always music or something other than complete silence and a, and a sound guy demanding utter silence. Yeah. And holding the boom oh. and staring at you. And you've got this mic like hanging over your head. And you're like, oh, shit. The, all the sound is on me. Yeah. I have to make this up. Yep. I was really bad at dirty talk when I was new. Mm-hmm. I was mute. Yeah. Because I was pretty much conditioned to be mute. They mm-hmm. Most people will tell you that they don't want to hear from the guy. Yeah. As I got older in my career, I learned that I should probably speak up a little bit. Mm-hmm. So I've now like kind of made a name for myself with my dirty talk. Mm-hmm. And I am known as being one of the more vocal guys in scenes. Mm, okay. But that's really out of like, I hate the silence. Yeah. Like if the girl's not talking, I got to say something yeah. because the silence is killing me. <laughs> it's killing the mood. It's killing the flow. Like you say something, anything. Tell me how I'm doing. I yeah. don't care. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. have to be sexy. Yeah. Describe. I, I tell new girls that all the time if I shoot with them and they're the, the director giving them one of these off camera, which mm-hmm. means talk more. It's kind of boring if the girl doesn't speak. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I don't know what to say. I'm like, just describe what's happening i tell them the same thing that's yeah. all you got to do it's really just just describe it yeah tell me you like it tell yeah. it like i love your dick in my pussy exactly just your dick in my mouth tastes so good exactly like yeah but it's hard it's an art i mean honestly dirty talking oh, is an the, art if you watch some of the pro girls that have mastered the art of dirty sheree talk, deville i feel like is like the some best of those women could uh, i literally have to ask them to be quiet in scenes because i'm <laughs> believing everything they're saying and i'm like okay enough gassing me up you're killing me like i get it i get it. i we're good we're good it's fine i think you shot that scene where sheree slapped me with a what was it like the the paddle for like a sorority like the sorority paddle. oh fuck that? yes Ye- wait yes yes sorority gr- for another digital playground shoot uh-huh. i think i remember that and i was like i don't i don't know if he likes that 
I wasn't a fan, but I was, <laughs> I was like, oh shit, I, I'm not sure he's going to be into one that. One of those things that wasn't really discussed beforehand. But once before we middle- boundary checklists, which we have now. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But I was in the middle of it going, oh, well, this is here now. This is on the internet for good. Me just getting paddled. Great. I do remember that. Yeah. I do. Oh my God, I'd forgotten about that. 